with millions of apps available for Android in the Google Play Store, it can be difficult to separate out the good from the bad. So coming up, I will share with you eight Android apps in various categories that are amazingly great. Hopefully you find at least a couple of these to be useful for you. Let's get started. First up is Firefox Focus from Mozilla, the same company that makes the Firefox browser. If you're into privacy, Firefox Focus automatically blocks a large number of online trackers and ads. When you open the browser, you're greeted with this minimalistic looking screen. At the top, you can do a search or enter a URL. When you're done with your session, you can select the trash can in the lower right, which will erase cookies, passwords, and search history. Then it'll automatically take you back to the home screen. So if you're looking for a browser with more privacy features, Firefox Focus may be the browser for you. Up next is My Radar, which is an easy to use weather app that does a great job of displaying the weather around you. When the app opens, it first shows the radar map, which has pinch and zoom capability, just like Google Maps. If you swipe down from the top of the display, you can get additional weather information for your location, and you can also set it up to receive severe storm warnings, along with hurricane tracking information. Thing is another great tool for those of you out there that are OCD networking junkies like me. This one I won't demonstrate because I don't want to spend an hour in post-production blurring everything out. It comes with more than a dozen free network tools, including a Wi-Fi scanner, port scanner, DNS lookup, and service monitoring. Here's the full list of tools included, which is quite a lot. So if you consider yourself to be at least moderately tech savvy, you should check out Thing. Haystack TV is a video app focused on bringing the latest headlines from many of the world's top news organizations. Along the top, you'll see several categories, which you can customize. To manage your favorites, select the menu icon in the upper left corner, then select Manage Favorites. You have the option to add any of the topics listed below, or you could add people, sources, and topics in the search bar. So far, I've been very impressed with the quality of Haystack TV, which is free, but does contain ads. PhotoMath is one of the coolest math apps in the Play Store, which uses the camera on your phone to solve math problems. When you open up the app, the primary tabs at the top are Edit, where you can type in a math problem, but the tab you'll want to use is the Camera tab to the right. The camera will recognize print from a textbook, and it has really good handwriting recognition. I wrote down a couple problems to demonstrate. So you just point your camera at a problem, then to see the step-by-step -step instructions, just tap the red bar at the bottom and it lists everything right in order for you. Let's try another one out here. And that one worked as well. And there you go. It says PhotoMath is free with in-app purchases. So far, I've not found any extra cost to use this app. So if you're a student taking math courses, you should check out PhotoMath. Snapseed, developed by Google, is a photo editor with 29 tools and filters. After you've opened Snapseed and selected your photo, you'll have tons of options. You may find it best to tilt your phone into landscape mode for editing. Select the edit icon to get started. Now you'll see a bunch of tools including crop, perspective, vignette, text, and others. And below tools, there are a ton of filters that you can play with. And for this one, I'll select Retrolux. And you can play around with the different settings to find the one that's right for you. But I kind of like the default one, number one, so I'll save that. When done, select the check mark in the lower right hand corner. If you select the download icon, you have the option to share, save, along with export options. And if you're not happy with your changes, you can select the undo icon and then select undo. There is no cost to use Snapseed, and it's one of the easier to use photo editors in the Play Store. SoloLearn is another great app like Codecademy and Khan Academy that can help you get started in learning the basics of coding. It offers several languages, including C++, Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and many others. To get started with a course, just pick the language you'd like to learn. For this one, I'll pick JavaScript and then select Open Course, and then tap into a lesson, then just complete each one in order by following the instructions. This last one's called Side Chef, which is for you cooks out there. Even if you don't know how to cook, 
this app is designed for novices. When you open the app, on their homepage, there are articles along with popular recipes. Other options along the taskbar at the bottom include search, where you can view several popular categories or do an individual search, articles, and they also include a meal planner to help you create a shopping list. Now I'll go back to the homepage. Where the app really shines is when preparing and cooking your recipe. So I'll just scroll down here and, and find something that looks interesting. I'll select the smooth garlic hummus. Right above start cooking, near the bottom, you'll see a small triangle. If you swipe up from there, you can see additional information, including ingredients. To get started, select start cooking at the bottom. I currently have the sound turned down, but it does come with voice direction as well. Whenever you've completed a step, just tap on the check mark to go to the next step. Side Chef is free, and it just might help you to make some crazy good food. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let us know in the comments if you have a favorite Android app not mentioned. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button and bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest Android app videos and other tech-related stuff.